We're going to Vegas. It's it's unbelievable. Because at halftime, I didn't think we were going to Vegas. At halftime, I did not think we were going to Vegas. Down 24 to 7. Knowing that they received the ball in the second half. Knowing that, boy, Shanahan has only come back once in his career when down <laughs> by five plus going into the fourth quarter. <laughs> by the way, all you needed to do was make the largest comeback in NFL history for being down 17 in the title game. Now, the Niners did come back from 17 nothing back against the Atlanta Falcons was, in 2012 at the Georgia Dome. But it was first quarter. They were able to yeah. erase that lead in the first half, and they were down 24-14. These guys were down 17 in the game, folks. I don't think you understand how improbable this was. They became the first team it's incredible. in NFL history to be down 17 or more points at the half of a championship game and come back to win. Now, John Curley, our producer, original producer of the Morning Roads, so shout out to Curley. Lutman's taking the job, and he's wrong with it. Curley's one of the most passionate 49er fans I've ever met in my yep. life. One of the more passionate ones, and he sent this at halftime. This is after my prayer, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to think positive. This is after, after my prayer. After your prayer? After my prayer. I don't ever want to hear you talking yeah. down on private Catholic <laughs> I, schools ever again. I, I can't believe Anna took that picture. She goes, babe, I've never seen you in a darker place in my life. Well, I'm not going to lie. It felt staged from you. Oh, well, I know. I know. Some people think it's staged. Some people think I do things for clout. Like when I wore the Mahomes jersey, I lost to Bet the Wheatley. People thought, oh, boy, he's just trying to produce content. Nah, I, I'm, I'm straight from the cut. I, I cut it straight from the cloth, man. I, there's no faking. I don't think I do not do things for clout. I don't stage things. That's stupid. I don't need anything like that. So I, she just took it. She does that stuff. And then in the third quarter, she goes, look at this photo. I took a view. It's incredible. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So then when we, when we started coming back, I said, yo, I need that photo. I need to do <laughs> yeah. I need to do that photo. She let took me, it. Let she me was like, back she goes, real quick. No, because I just, she was like, babe, babe. And I was, I just had my eyes closed for like 90 seconds. Journey's playing. I don't care about Journey, whatever. I was just in a dark, dark place thinking, because <clears throat> I'm looking at all the texts in our thread. And I'm saying to myself, damn, we're. Guys are really going to bring up Belichick replacing Shanahan. Oh, if you we're going to be, we're going to have to talk about Kirk Cousins. Oh, Mac Jones was on the table. I, I mean, it was. I was getting, Ted Hill. I got so many texts from people. What are we doing? Bring in Belichick as DC. Fire Kyle. Put him at OC. Put Bill at head coach. Like I had heard it all. Now, John Curley sent this tweet at halftime. Yeah, what he said. It's eerie that in 1957, the last time the Lions won a playoff game in San Francisco. They were down 24 to 7 at halftime before rallying to beat the Niners 31 to 27. Now in 2024, the script is reverse. The Niners are down 24 to 7 at the half. Can the Niners pull off their version of a comeback? Damn you, John Curley. What a tweet that has now been stolen by David Lombardi of the Athletic. Oh, that guy. He stole it, damn near tweeted out word for word after the game. Just give John Curley some credit, David Lombardi. It doesn't hurt you. You got over 100,000 followers on Twitter. Don't be that guy. Give John Curley a bone. He don't care. He's just tweeting. So I made sure to double down and give John Curley his love. I like that. Because that's a hell of a tweet by well, John Curley. And, and look. You know, everybody's everyone fans in a different way, right? You you, you fan different from me, right. even though we're both diehard psychos. That was the full fan experience yes, yesterday. <laughs> I mean, you had what the hell are we doing? Are we going to show up to like complete and utter shambles? shambles. We, I was in shambles oh, at halftime. It was I didn't move. My brother goes, I got to go take a walk. My brother had to take a walk. Yeah, I sat there with my head yeah. in my hands oh. and I was tweeting out everything. And I'm like, right. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, it, it's some of the yardage and some of the stats we're going to get to a little bit later. was just alarming. I mean, Detroit was dominating dominating. And John Curley sends that tweet out, which, again, was stolen by a credential media member. <laughs> he just can't give him credit for whatever reason We're going to start is. calling him Darth Plagueis. <laughs> right, yeah, because he's seriously. plagiarizing everything. He, he plagiarizing everything. And, you know, he, he, he used to join our show a lot, but we had to push him back, and he hasn't replied to us since, so we're going to rip you. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Brock Purdy with the 17-point comeback. <laughs> I mean, there was just so many numbers at the half that I was just like, damn, we're getting cooked. Oh, we're okay. kidding. Cooked. There was no way in my mind... We were going to come back and win that game because we look, we just look like the older, slower, uh, less buttoned up team. We look like a team that could not win in the trenches. We look like a team that had zero team speed compared to their team yep. speed. And it looked like Ben Johnson was five steps ahead oh, of Steve, Steve Wilkes. Oh, Here's another thing. The amount of fire Steve Wilkes on the spot, people. <laughs> yeah, can, I know. Look, oh, oh, don't get me wrong. Scheme matters. And, and Kyle Shanahan, too. 
Guys got to make plays. Yeah. Like, we, like, can we acknowledge, like, some of these guys got to win one-on-one matchups. Kyle Shanahan, offensively, cannot scheme open five guys open on every play. Right. At some level, tackles got to tack a block in, in front of Purdy, give him a clean pocket. Purdy's got to throw the ball down the field accurately. Right. A wide receiver's got to get open, make the catch. Like, a lot of things have to fall in place for the offense to work. We expect Shanahan to just go like a hot knife through butter on every single play. Show me the most creative play you have. It's just, it's incredible. It was incredible. Now, check this out. It was incredible because Jared Goff checked out of a – I don't know what play he checked out of, but on third and 12 when they headed off to Jameer Gibbs for a first down for 13 yards, and Pinay Sewell pulled thing, to the man. left, and I was like, they just got 13 yards on a third and 12 and got a first down. And then later on the drive, third and 18, Amaras St. Brown catches one. I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, this is ugly. Steve Wilkes, where you at? Where, Jair Brown, by the way, <laughs> we'll get to the kids. The he Super was a Bowl. step. He was just a step off. I, I I don't know what you do with him at, in the Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes. That that legit concerns. Well, Gibson didn't. Uh, Gibson comes through with a huge play with the fumble. He looked a step slow too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Boy. And if I have, if I see Oren Burks out there, look, I don't. Jalen Graham and D. Winners. I, I'm sure they're not ready for the moment. <laughs> Oren Burks is not a very good no, football player. Not. And they kept running toward his side over and over and over again. And dear God, for the love of Christ, as I have my rosary around my neck this morning, thanking God, Chase Young, can you set an edge? Oh, Chase Young. Well, we see why he was traded for a cop he did, make, he did make a couple plays, though, in that it, second Late half. in the second half, he finally. He did make a couple plays. He was barbecue chicken. I even got a text from Ian Williams during the first half. Yo, Chase Young. Ain't it, he ain't it, bro. He ain't it. I mean, the texts well, were flying in. I mean, the we're de- we're getting rid of everyone. We're going to the three four. We're gonna get Joey Bosa or Khalil Mack. The takes in my head were everywhere. All right, let, let's squeeze in the call before the break. Adam in San Francisco, you're gonna be the first one. Adam, up. set the toe. Adam, set the toe before the break. How we doing, guys? I good morning. Happy Victory Monday. Wow, just wow. I. Really quickly wanted to give a shout out to my best friend Joe's sister. Her Instagram's at the Rachel Marie. She worked on the Kittles outfits last weekend and worked on Claire Kittle's pants last night. She's killing it in the fashion game. Oh nice. And it showed out last night. She so just wanted to give her some props on that. Um, to the game. I do want to give some flowers to Steve Wilkes. We were getting gas in the first <laughs> half. I mean, you wanted to you wanted to try to have some hope, and I'm like, you know, you sent out a tweet, Bonte. It's like if they score again, it's over. And I'm like, it is over. Like I don't care what we can do on offense. We can't stop this offense at all. However, we only allowed seven points in the second half total, and that fourth down touchdown that they had to get was a, it was an incredible throw. So as bad as we were in the first half on defense, he tightened it up big time in the second half. That's incredible. I'm so happy for. Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey yeah, yeah. getting to their first Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we'll talk about the Super Bowl later on. We got two weeks to digest. And like you said, to be the best, you got to beat the best. But what a game. What a comeback. And I'm just so happy that Brock Purdy's our quarterback. Dude, Brock Purdy deserves his flowers. He deserves his flowers. Purdy magic is all I'm calling it. The guy's magical when I, we need him. The I'm second half. Brock Purdy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, here, see, here you guys go. Here you guys your go. Your girl came. Your girl came to the tailgate. By the way, that tailgate was epic. Came to the tailgate in a fresh, crispy Brock Purdy jersey and stood there with all the sass in the world and said to me, and I say as well, respect. Brock Purdy's the man. And literally, like, with disdain in her voice oh. toward anyone who would think otherwise. Hey, and I'm all Anna, <laughs> first, hey, look, I'll tell you this right now, we did not. We did not think Brock Purdy was the man. No. She did. No, she did. Maybe we should start using her quarterback evaluations right. moving forward. Well, I got some other evaluations for her. She also took Lions first half. <laughs> it didn't tell me. 